Hi all, it is Nico Aleph from Madison. In this video, we'll draw a small apartment which I measured uh, yesterday. And I've already scanned my sketches, here they are, on the screen and uh, you see the dimensions there. And I will draw this quickly. First the floor plan of course, this is the detail of uh, this uh, bathroom here. And we have the out outside space which is uh, to the north here. And we have the stair which is of course to the west. This uh, curved wall is uh, this one. So let's start. So we open an Archicad project and uh, I've already drawn this uh, line to mark the slope of this wall. I've taken it from the cadastre plan. Let's delete all dimensions for now. And uh, I will start drawing the windows. Let's say that this uh, wall is around here. And uh, we start with the windows, of course. Let's place a window. It is. Uh, let's check the image. Hundred and eighty centimeters from this side, and it is uh, in length. It is three hundred and twenty. And let's change the distances. We'll use one only on the right side. Also, I will change this, the, the the height, which is hundred and seven. And now let's place the door as well. We have a door here, which of course is going to the to the apartment from the outside, and let's uh, change the dimension 70 to 225, and uh, it has a transom of course, which will be 30. Also, I will change the nominal size. 181 here, this distance, and we can of course presume that this wall is simple. Let's make it 15. And we have uh, 59 to the corridor. The corridor is of course with uh, wider walls and they are in the external layer and these are the internal for the apartment. Now we will connect from here to the other side. It is going like this obviously and we have 216 here. I will connect these two. Eighty one. We connect this and in distance, let's see. This is, of course, just fifteen centimeters. And uh, the middle distance is measured at 196. This wall is extended and it is the external wall to this apartment. And 
uh, the only thing left is to draw this section here. We have uh, 126. And we have a curve wall here. Let's draw a wall with the curve, which will be. Let's see. Let's draw it like this. And we will rotate this back to its perpendicular place, just like that. Now let's uh, connect this. It, this distance is uh, 59. And uh, the radius is uh, 59 as well. This one is zero, so the radius is 59. Just like that, and we will connect the. Oh, actually, not like this, but I will draw another in this way. And I will switch this one. That's it. And now we will draw this one. Of course, let's go from here to here and connect these. This distance, let's check. 126 exactly. And we have 42 here. Yes. Approximately so. That's it. And that's our contour, which is the most important part. I will just uh, place it on the outside reference line, which is a usual trick in this case, and uh, simply move it back. And uh, these ones are easy because they are actually on the exactly the place where I want them. Just uh, for the vertical lines, we connect them like this. So we continue doing the foundation walls here. We will just align the foundations to the top story. And now we will draw the stair, of course. Let's go to the stair settings. 280. We have uh, finish, of course. And uh, the width uh, will be 110. How many steps? Say there are 16. And uh, the type of stair will, will be this one. We'll use uh, an external reference line. And we'll start from this, this point. That's it. And uh, we will switch now the direction by mirroring it. And uh, now change the width. Obviously it's not 110, it is more like 100. That, that, is, that looks very nice. Now we will, of course, change the these steps. We'll use uh, five is good, and here one will be in place. And floor plan display we will use by model view setting. Now let's uh, delete these lines. We don't need them. We'll change the songs to English, of course, so that you can understand what I'm doing. 
but it's not that uh, difficult. I'm just uh, adding the zones and changing their representation. And we have a uh, living room here. And of course the entrance door. It is uh, located here and it is opening like this. 37 centimeters from this side. And then the bedroom of course will be gen uh, actually not general bedroom. And uh, with no fill. Or I will use rather background. We will place it in the corner here. The lamps here will be like this. We have the seating area which will be exactly opposing this wall. Just like that. And uh, we won't have these two. And the table will be actually bigger in this direction. Let's make it 120 by 60. Let's move it a bit. Great. This cup of coffee belongs to a third person and we place it like this. It's actually good if we center it. We fix this direction like this and we pick up middle point here. And the small dining table we will place here. Or actually more like this. So thanks for watching, it's Nico Wale from Adisoft signing off and wishing you inspiration in your practice. Make sure you post your questions below so that I can answer them and help you with your work as well and suggestions for other videos. See you in the next video.